we need diversity in science. If we stay with the very restricted community of very similar people, we really will miss out on the large talent pool that is there. We cannot afford to do that. So Uta, for those who don't know you, could you tell us a bit about yourself? Well, I'm an Emeritus Professor of Cognitive Development at University College London. And I'm also the chair of the Diversity Committee at the Royal Society. The Royal Society is committed to increased diversity. Certain ethnic minorities, people from different socioeconomic status, from different places, women, of course. We want to encourage them to be included in the scientific workforce. What is the Royal Society's Athena Prize? We have a prize for an individual and we have a second prize for a whole team. We really want to recognise people who are pushing forward diversity and that can be drawn from any level within the academic community or the research community. So, so really it could be a PhD student? I don't see why not. And what, what are the criteria? What the jury is looking for are really three main things. One is the impact that the contribution, the project or whatever the initiative had. Uh, one is the sustainability and we are looking for innovation originality. And could you tell us a bit about the previous winners of the prize? The the prize was only started in 2016 and will be given every two years. The first winners were the London Mathematical Society. The women there did some amazing things to uh, really draw attention to the fact that there are so few women in math. And it, how, do you, how do you apply? It's actually very easy to apply. You need to look at the Royal Society website. And by the way, do it now because the deadline is 29th of January.